too big because the, the baby can. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Shiva and uh, we are the Vil family. So uh, this video guys is kind of sensitive. Um, if you'd like to watch that's that's okay if you have the same uh, situation. Um, I'm sharing my um, my early pregnancy. Um, I'm still, I don't know, I feel like I'm empty. I feel like I'm sad and depressed. Um, t tonight, actually, my kid is not here. I should have just kept them, so it kept me occupied. Anyway, um, just like I said, if you are... <laughs> Um, don't feel to watch this video. I'm okay to skip it. I mean, but this I'm sure I'm just sharing this uh, journey. I was gonna share my whole journey as a 40 year old pregnant with two active babies, but now it seems like just two active babies. See, with my daughter, I was just fine. I even miss my my belly for like after I gave birth. Like I miss my belly. So. Um, with, with uh, CJ, with my uh, son, I was, I don't have any complication, even though at my age, because I gave birth to Rain when I was 35, and I gave birth to the little guy when I was 38, so it's supposed to be my 40 years pregnant journey, supposed to be, but it did not happen. Uh, we actually don't want to have any kids, but we don't have... Um, uh, we don't have, uh, I don't take any birth control, so just whatever, whatever happens, it's, it's it. we're gonna take it. If we're gonna have another child, I'm you know, I'm just gonna go through it. But anyway, um, last month I was, uh, um, I was, I missed my period for like four weeks, uh, one month, like four weeks and like four days, so I took a PT and. See, there is two. There is two. And I took another one after two days. And I get another positive. So there is two. So at five weeks, I was feeling okay. Um, it's just something about this pregnancy. It's like... <sighs> I feel like I had that feeling that it's not right because you know when you're pregnant you already know your body that you're pregnant it's changing it's changing your body or either your hips or it's something that your body that is not normal for your um you know it's your body you know your body so um this with this pregnancy I feel like my abdominal it's like hurting and when it hurts and it's like consistent like co consistent like very uh frequently and then it stays a little bit longer because normally with rain and cj um of course it, it's you know it's just it hurts but it just come and go come and go and it's not at most it stay maybe um 20 seconds maybe more not not even a minute that it comes and go comes and go i mean it's been a long time so i really don't um remember that much but anyway, with this baby, I feel like, you know, I always, I always feel like weak or I'm, although we are excited, of course we are excited. My husband is so excited. Um, um, so, uh, um, yesterday, I think yesterday or the week after, a week, uh, the day before, um, I was like I was laying down and I feel I, was, I feel like so tired and I, all I did is just like you know just laying in the couch I mean I have a year old an active four year old so I carry I carry him most of the time because he is mama's boy so rain she's four years old so sometimes I carry her too and when I found out that I was that I was positive I was cleaning the house I was moving all the furniture here in the kitchen I never felt like you know like I don't know I, I just feel like I was doing it but I don't know I don't know I, I don't I don't 
Oh, anyway, so um, two days ago, I, I was five weeks in like five days, so it's almost six weeks. Um, I was laying down and then I was going to the bathroom and then I feel like there's something like, you know, like coming out like I'm, I'm going like you know I feel like there's bleed coming out so I went I went to the bathroom and and look at it so it was it was a blood and but it's light but it's like it's light blood but it's like watery it's not like you know you know what I'm saying so it's like watery so I'm not worried and then I look um, it says and um, you know it's actually normally like when you're pregnant when you uh that that this early stage when you go to ultrasound and at the ultrasound you can actually see uh a uh, blood clot around your uterus and something like that so and and it says that it's normal like if you're having like just one spot like just you know uh a past tissue or i don't know i'm not even sure if i said it right and it says that you know it's normal and so on and so on so I wasn't worried uh, and then later on about two two hours later on and then I feel like there's coming out so I went to the bathroom and I saw like a blood clot and then I was still looking I'm, I'm looking on like you know my situation and stuff so it's the same thing like you know um, but I was wondering, it's not a spot anymore. It's like, you know, I'm having my period, but it's just heavier than period, but it's not like, it's different. So anyway, I was just fine. And then um, I was just sitting on the couch and I feel like my abdominal just hurting bad. It's not like bad, bad, like when you go through labor, I mean, yeah, that's very painful. It's not that much painful, but the thing is that stays there, like it just stays there. So I kind of start worrying now and I was shaking. So um, I let it go. I went through sleep through the night and um, I was bleeding and it, it, it's not like um it's not spotting but it's not my regular period so i was just fine because um i also like maybe three um uh past tissue that i would say it, like you know like they look like this and maybe like there are three of them I, I don't know which one um i saw one that it fell into the floor i took it and then I don't know if was that it because it's only what five close to six weeks so it says if you're again if you're you know um, having a miscarriage you cannot really tell if is it a baby or your period or just your regular you know something so but I had that feeling that was it because after that release I feel like uh, I, re uh, I feel like relief like I feel the pain is nothing in there no more like it's it's and I feel like my belly is so light like it's so light so um, I was I was just fine um, and the following day I called my doctor like early in the morning Thursday I call and it says that you know my pregnancy test was I, I was um, I was I missed my period for five weeks and some days and my bread I took a pregnancy test and they're both of them are uh, positive and you know because of what's going on now so you gotta have to have a reason to see your doctor I mean he was my doctor with my two kids so um, he said that I had to wait for another week um, and I have to take another pregnancy test if it's it positive then I have to make an appointment and also if if not then I'm just gonna treat it like a period and also uh, my husband also search it says that I really did I really don't need to go to the doctor because um, it's just like you know a regular period um, yeah so what should I do but anyway I, I was still hoping that 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 the baby maybe it's still there so yesterday uh, so today 
I, I'll still feel weak and still like so depressed. I'm so depressed. I feel sorry. I feel like what I did wrong because with my two kids, I didn't have a problem. Um, I didn't have a problem to have them, you know, at early age, knowing that early, not early age, knowing that early early stage of pregnancy i don't have any complication and everything is just smooth everything is just fine until you know the end of the end of the pregnancy i think everyone is want to get rid of the baby when you know you're nine months like 10 days before you give birth like you just it just feels so like i just want to get rid of this baby out of my belly so everything it was fine with them so i mean i guess every pregnancy is different but it's um i don't know I, I i i feel so like i don't know i'm not even making drama for this because i don't even i don't want to be like this like we normally happy we vlog and we're we're happy with my kids although it's just too much for me to have four year four, to have a four year old in a to almost two years old a year and a half and you know they're taking all my energy and stuff um so anyway today um my abdominal still hurts but like i said it's not hurting like you're going to the labor but it's bothering you like it's bothering me that there's still something in there so about five o'clock i think about five o'clock this afternoon um I went to the restroom and I think that was the last one. I'm hoping this is the last one because I don't feel after that. I don't feel any more pain pain in my abdominal after after that. So I went to I went to the toilet. I went to do you know I went to the restroom and I saw it and it's big. I don't know if just a tissue like um, you know like. I don't know. I don't think that's a baby. I don't know. But I saw this kind of big... This, maybe... I, I took a picture but I kind of rose so gross to show you guys. But this... Um, maybe this this big, this two finger of mine and like this, this long. And it looks like a liver to me. It looks like a, a liver or it looks like a... Yeah. Is there a lighter? Um, it's not a kidney or a liver. What inside? I don't know. But they're they're big. So, and after that, so I'm guessing that there is just no more baby in my belly. So, I'm just gonna wait um, until the. You know i'm gonna get a pregnancy test um maybe next week i'm gonna i'm gonna wait for a few days i'm gonna wait for a few days until um i'm stop you know having period i guess period now um and um i don't know if i should seek the my doctor they said i should ha i should go to, to seek the doctor but like he said like you know if if just everything is you know negative then i should not be worried about it um so i'm gonna wait for a few days guys um i will see if i'm still if if i am negative i will take it if it's positive then i don't know what to do because of all the blood that it come out in all the tissues and all the you know the the blood clot and all that that really makes me worried but for me personally for me um personally um i feel like there is nothing anymore in my belly because before that i could feel that i could that i could feel it something in my belly there is something in my belly and i you, i could feel it like everything it, like it changes so so i'm just going to keep this this is really really I thought I was just be fine because you know what guys I probably next time um I'm not gonna take a pregnancy test that early I'm probably gonna wait for like another another week or maybe like on my another two weeks so but you know how how do I know like 
we are just excited we were fine with two kids but of course it already happened well accepted and it's, it's um i feel like empty like not empty but i feel like what it what I did do, what I did do, like, I feel it's, I'm just hoping that it's gonna go away soon. Earlier, um, my husband, when he was still at home, because he works at night, um, he was, you know, um, comforting me, like, you know, giving me all the comfort, and we talk about you know maybe we're gonna try another one or he said we will see but if it's a him he doesn't want me to get pregnant anymore because of my age and because of you know like i'm actually um i stopped my my job so that um, i could stay with my kids so i already have two kids but i don't know because of these i feel like i want to have another one but at the same time, I don't want to have another kid because of what's going on. Maybe there's just a reason why. Maybe. Maybe so. But that's what I, my experience, guys. It's just like I feel like <sighs> regrets. What is regrets? There's nothing I could blame myself because I didn't do anything. <sighs> I depress. How you call it? I don't know how you call it, but I feel like I don't know. I'm sure there is worse than than what happened because, like, like um, you know, a lot of people don't want to have a kid, and uh, when they finally, when they finally um get pregnant and you know like I could maybe I could just think that way that that I'm not the only one and there is there is some someone is the same like going through like my situation um I just never felt like why it happens and although it's just um uh very early very early for the pregnancy and I could just I wish I didn't know that I was pregnant so then I wasn't expecting right because it was kind of too early but that's the, that's me with my two kids they are I they're the same time when I found out that they were they were um, I was pregnant with them and you know um, So I will, I will, um, I will see two days, two more days maybe, and I'll take another pregnancy test or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll take another pregnancy test tomorrow. I, I don't, I don't know. But this is just a good remembrance for me, and I'm gonna keep it. I wish if I knew I could have taken like ten of them. <laughs> like 10 of them so I could put it somewhere where I could remembrance that I had this experience and this is just um, I thought that I never thought that it's gonna be painful like this but it's you know guys I'm just sharing I'm not I'm not asking for a sympathy like that that you know it's it's a woman thing that you know when you love your kids you try your best for your kids and you're expecting like this this is a different story so I'm, I'm not saying this is not true I mean they're selling this at Walmart so it must be true because my uh my my uh some people some of my close uh that close friend that close family that might be just um that might be just like you know because you 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 miss your period that must be just your period that you missed and stuff like that well this is the thing if if just i, I just miss it the thing that is all the blood blood that coming out that's not regular period that's not that's not 
a regular for for me to have it to have that kind of stuff that coming out it's different and also if I'm not pregnant if I take one pregnancy test and if it's negative the rest of the pregnancy test that I'm gonna take it's gonna be all negative if I take one positive it's gonna be the rest of all of the pregnancy tests that I'm gonna take is gonna be positive because this is it never lies this is never lies because this is I always use this is never lies so that's what I'm just saying like I thought I thought it was just not a baby I thought it I, I wish it wasn't but there is a baby because I know I was pregnant I was I know there is a baby inside and it did not survive it did not survive so that was that was really I, I don't know I'm I'm so I will I will show you guys uh, I'm gonna wait uh, I'm gonna wait until I'm hoping by the time I'm just gonna be fine I'm gonna try because I have another two kids and I'm not the only one that it happens to me so I'm just gonna be relaxed and I'm just gonna think of my babies that they needed me and if happens before it happens again that I'm gonna get pregnant again in my 40s then um, I'm just gonna taking care of myself I'm just gonna do that thank you guys for watching and I'm not saying that I hope you like this video but I'm just sharing my I'm just sharing my my um I don't know what you call them sharing um, if some of you that have the same symptoms the same situation as me you are not the only one um, you could message me you can uh, I guess um, just I don't know what to say but thank you guys for watching